This is part two of modeling a wagon and barrels. And I'll just say uh, very quickly at the beginning that uh, my wife and I are now trying a new thing with our son Harry, uh, who is now in his own room. And I've got uh, multiple monitors around here, video monitors and audio monitors and stuff. So we'll see how that's uh, going to go. Um, I uh, want to make some changes. I, I did one thing. I straightened up a wheel and I lengthened this axle part here. And uh, I want to make some changes here. And add a little bit more detail. And, uh, and then we'll and then we'll move on uh, to uh, barrels and stuff like that. So we're just uh, making a few changes here to this thing. And then we'll, we'll, we'll go on. Okay, um, one of the things I think I want to do is I want to take this piece, Shift D, copy it. I want to delete the mirror and rotate Z90. I want to put this at the back as well. So I'm going to see if I can get that lined up here. And I'm going to edit mode and we'll scale this in the X. And I'm pull it in. S and X. And I'll look from the side. And I just want to get this in here. And I just think it'll look a little bit more consistent. Having, a, having that piece back there as well. So my, uh, my wife uh, is upstairs where he is, and so if he cries a bit, uh, she may go in this time. She wanted him up there, close to her, so we'll see how it goes. He's got his bottle, and she's up there. All right, so, um, yeah, I want to um, take all this stuff with the wheel stuff and select it all and right click and move to collection new collection wheel so now Okay, that's fine with me. Okay, doke. So, 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 so. Let's also take this and just move it up. And move the 3D cursor back to there. Yeah, I can't do that. Okay. Okay, I want to create something on the bottom here to, uh, to sort of hold this. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a circle now. And I'll go for just 18 vertices. There it is. I'm going to rotate Y90. Go to edit mode. And scale it down. Just look from the side here. This kind of thing. Okay, I think I will look from the side and uh, shift H and go into vertex selection and we'll box select these ones and delete them and then we'll grab these ones and we'll extrude them up, bring everything else back and have a look at this. So I've, I've got this structure, okay, and select it 
E to extrude. I'm going to give it some thickness like this. This is just going to hold the axle. E and L test. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to come in to make it a bit narrower like that. All right. And I'm going to, in wireframe, box select all of this and bring it up a little bit higher. And I think what we'll do is we'll actually grab that and I'll go Shift S cursor selected, bring the 3D cursor there. And then I will bring in a little pl a plane and scale it down. Now, how much detail? Yeah, I'll we'll do two of them, I think. So I'm going to put this one over there here. subdivision surface and edge loops I guess we can get rid of the bottom to about, about that position and uh, another one okay. and then I'm going to take both of those set the cursor selected and bring in another plane differently about this. I might feel like it should be out there. do it that way okay to hold that and then what I think I'll do is I'll take this and this and we'll see if we can reuse that
Okay, so I'm looking from the front. Take, not that, take this and go into edit mode. Wireframe. And do this kind of thing. I think that these Get rid of that one. And let's take this. It's pretty boring, but this is something else. Does that, does that fit? So instead, I think what I would do is I'd make these really narrow. Maybe for this one. It could be like this. I know we're not gonna ever see that, but. Still. Is the thought. So I would have that. Just do that, and then uh, I'll take these ones and I'll pull them back a little further. A lot further. Oh, so you can sort of slide them in and out. I wonder if there should be something here so, so they don't just slide. What's gonna care? Let me just think. If you were walking along holding these and pulling them, or your animal was, would that be even wide enough? But let's say it was. I'll think about widening them in a minute. And we're holding them. 
you'd be pulling on this. You would need something at the back here to prevent it from slipping through. And you wouldn't really need all of these. Well, you might to help hold them. You would need like an end on here. Uh, to prevent it from slipping through, wouldn't you? Did it really even matter? I was thinking of a subdivision surface on this. I will admit I was. But let's see if I can... Let's do this. Let's try... Uh, just doing that. I can probably do that on all of them easily. Easily enough. Let's drag him in. Easily enough, I say. Well, this is gonna be the front one. Or the back one. Let's leave that. <laughs> okay. Really basic modeling stuff. And I hope it doesn't look too simplistic. All right. Um, 
maybe, 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 maybe we take this and we put it at the front as well. I don't know if it's overkill. So what I wanted to do, well, I'm just going to put my three, oh, I can't, yeah, that's fine. All right, anyways, uh, I didn't bring in a circle, I'll go, 22, let's rotate Y90, what happened there, rotate Y90. just fill this up and watch that edge I had a problem the other day didn't I one there I'll put one there and scale it out and I'll put on some division that's what I'm going for little thing all right and on this set the origin geometry cursor is selected and on this we're going to take one of these rings shift D, and bring it out P break it out we got an extra piece so we're going to take that and we're going to delete those and make it a little bit bigger hit down it's okay she's up there uh, e, give it a bit of thickness like that, not too much. Select the E and Alt S, and let's bring it in, make a little ring type thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna select all the edges, just like that. Control B, and that looks just like that. Come on there, let's put the modifiers on there. Shade smooth. Bring it back, and then we'll come in here, and we will I keep doing that. We'll grab all these uh, faces. We could go to there, maybe. E and Alt S, and we'll come out and blow it up pretty big, so it's exaggerated. Put edge loops here. And you could like tie your rope onto there or something. I don't know what you would do with that exactly. All right, so we'd have that, and uh, let's uh, join those together. We could put that on the other side as well. 
Let's bring the cursor there and let's take this and mirror it. With respect to that, just another little detail thing. Is that too small or is that too big? If I scale it. So for these barrels, uh, I'm planning on doing the plank sort of look. You know, we have individual pieces of wood uh, using uh, material or texture. And so I'm just going to do this. I'm going to bring in a cylinder. And I'm just going to leave it at pretty much the default values except put nothing there. Move it over here. And seeing as there's lots of different um, shapes of barrels, um, I don't have to be too concerned about that. Although I do kind of want them to fit inside. So maybe I should have backed up. Let's leave it there. <laughs> we'll scale it there and imagine them inside here. I'll build one in here and we'll put it on the floor later. So let's see. Let's scale it a bit more in the Z. Let's say a barrel would fit in there. Okay. So I'm going to put an edge loop right in the middle. And um, you know what? Maybe I'll bevel this and have one there. I think I will use proportional editing. I will scale this out like that. Let's turn it off, make it a bit smaller. Big round barrel like that. Let's just work only on that now. do that kind of thing and then one of what we're going to do is we're going to bring the, this top and the bottom in and I think I need to switch to um, individual origins for this I think E and S and then I think we need to uh, come back to median point and I'm going to go E and uh, Scale Z, bring it down. I am going to have a bottom on this. But the bottom doesn't have to go as much, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit more. And then we're going to actually, I will bring the bottom up because we're going to close this off with a separate piece, a shift D and a P. That piece doesn't need a subdivision surface. I'm just gonna hit, uh, go into edit mode, select it F to make face. And I'm gonna bring that down. I might want a separate one for the bottom. Shift D. scale it make sure that it's in we'll have to change that on the subdivision surface nope, not that I'm gonna bring in an edge loop up here down there side or something. Alright. 
So I'm going to take this Shift D and P, break it out. So I got that. And I'm going to edit mode. And we're going to E. Let's make the ring. Select it. And E and Alt S, pull. And then edge loops again. the metal braces there and um, I'll just slide it down I think I'm going to do it like that it might be a bit too thick for my liking so I'm going to press 3 and shift alt and click there and then I can expand my selection like that and try just S. No, oh, I missed some. So I'll do that. I'm going to put one there. Shift D. do it like that. I'm not sure if I like that one. I might get rid of it. But that would be the idea. Okay. So that's generally what we're going for. I might have a couple of them in there and one on the side or a couple on the side. Let's just try hiding that and see if I think I like it better without that. Okay. Da 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 da. All right. So here we go.